Okay, I'm going to stop this for just a minute. I want you guys to notice something here. Notice the hot spot of the sun right on top of the clouds underneath the sun there. And then you notice over here towards the right how dark these clouds look. And over here to the left how dark the clouds look. There's no sunlight hardly on those at all. But right underneath the sun you see what you call a hot spot. And that right there alone proves that the sun is very close and local right above the clouds. I'm going to demonstrate for you right here. Now notice I have a light bulb which is round which represents our sun source and we have a flat mattress which represents our flat layer of clouds. Now watch as I get the so-called sun down here at the edge by the horizon. Now you see that hot spot right underneath the light bulb? You can only get that hot spot when the light source is very close and local. Now notice the darkness on each side of the bed, just as you did on the blanket of clouds. It's really, really simple to prove. Notice right here, you see the hot spot underneath the light bulb? When I raise it up high, it lights up the whole bed. We put it back down low to the bed mattress, we get a hot spot. And we raise it back up, it lights up the whole bed mattress. Anyways, let's continue on with the video. Just keep that in mind as you're watching the sun. Now, I want you to pay attention to these couple stars right here to the right of the screen. And remembering that the sun is supposed to be traveling in a straight line through the universe at 600,000 something miles per hour. Now, watch to the right as these stars zoom past us, okay? Remembering that the sun is traveling in a straight line through the universe, supposedly. We just left those stars behind, right? We're traveling in a straight line, which means we shouldn't be turning around and coming back there if we're following the sun, okay? Now, pretending we're on a ball. I'm saying pretending we're on a ball. But yet, you'll see those same stars again tomorrow. But we travel in a straight path according to this sun that we're following. No, you're not. You're following the sun over some flat clouds on a flat earth. Now remember, on a flat earth, we're following the sun west, so that means it should always be turning just a little bit to the right of you as you're flying behind it, chasing it. That is why you keep seeing this cameraman turn the camera to the right. See, he's flying according to the compass, but the sun is making a circuit. That's why you keep seeing it go to the right, and he has to adjust the camera and the aircraft to the right. Now, if you were flying east, like we're going to do in the next chapter, you would constantly be turning the camera uh, to the left. And look at that beautiful hot spot right over the top of those clouds. The horizon is the same all the way across. If the sun were 93 million miles out in space, all these clouds would be, have the same amount of light on them, but they don't. It only lights up the clouds that's right underneath it, and you can see it right there. Welcome to part two of chasing the sun around a flat earth. Now, as you can remember, in part one, I showed you a 777 flying from Seoul to Paris going west, which would be chasing the sun on a flat earth. Now, in part two, I'm going to be showing you a flight going east from Paris to Tokyo. Now, if you're flying east on a flat earth, you will fly right into the sun. It will actually pass right over the top of you, which is what you're gonna see here in part two of chasing the sun around the flat earth. Enjoy. Now noticed here going east, we have the same thing going on with the sun coming at us. See the hot spot underneath it on the clouds and then see the darkness over here and over here. Look familiar? 
That's because it works the same way even with the sun coming at you from the east. Now, notice once again, the hot spot of the sun is right here in the middle, right underneath it. And once again, over here on the sides, it's still dark because the sun is right over these clouds, right underneath it. And the sun is going to pass right over your head right here. As you can see, it is right over the top of us at this point. You can see the hot spot right here on the clouds, right, right in front of us because it's right over the top of us. And see the darkness back that way? The sun is right above us right here. And that is impossible on a spinning ball. Wake up, people. You just seen it with your own eyes.